Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As promised, this is my skincare video and on this skincare video, this edition, I'm going to be uh, reviewing Dorian Renaud's Butter Skin as promised. Now, I actually bought this product on for the first time a couple of months ago so i wanted to actually use it to give you all a thorough breakdown and a true review and an honest review of how the products have been affecting my skin and honestly just to start off i've really loved these products just to be a hundred percent honest um don't really have a complaint minor issue that some other people might not face the same issue but anyway i ordered these products on um july the 4th and butter skin was actually having a uh a promotion that if you ordered on july the 4th that you got this night little um cute nifty um travel bag for your products and it's like a faux crocodile um type black cute bag and it's it's good to help keep everything organized because if you like me you kind of throw all your stuff in the duffel bag when you go out of town so you're digging around for your deodorant and you're digging around for your uh spf and you're digging around for um your lip balm and everything else so i actually for my birthday a couple of my friends bought me some carrying cases some traveling bags to help keep me a little bit organized so i was really happy that they worked this in and it was like a nice little um neat bonus for the order but anywho um we're gonna go into giving a review when i first ordered the butter skin it actually came in a environmentally friendly packaging which i like this is like this nice simplistic um clean modern packaging almost and i'll show you all a picture of that uh, because in this particular order i actually got all my stuff shipped in the um the traveling bag but anywho, let's get into the products. Now, these are the original products that Dorian came out with. Now the 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 line itself, you can kind of customize your set. It's customizable, so you don't have to stick with these three original products. You actually can try some other things, and it's interchangeable now. But anywho, let's talk about these first products. Now, this is the cleanser. Step one, the cleanser. This cleanser removes, cleanses unwanted impurities from your skin while enriching essential oils and maintaining your skin's natural pH. Um, it has some soothing coconut oil and lavender flower extract that supposedly calms and your complexion, leaving your skin smooth, hydrated, healthy looking, and it gently lifts away dirt, debris, and sloughs off the dead surface cells that cause dullness. I'm going to show you all later in a video on how I apply the products they're pretty straightforward though and um let's just talk about the ingredients that are in here now i'm not going to go over every single ingredient that's in the cleanser but we'll talk about some of the stuff that i like number one i like the fact that it has some glycerin in the cleanser that helps to restore the moisture that washing your face can kind of strip your face of moisture so i like the fact that once you do wash your face you have a little glycerin that's left over to help kind of seal in that moisture so your skin isn't left like kind of ashened when you're through um and i like the lavender uh, flower extract i did a little research on that just to kind of look up a little bit about some of the properties um that you're supposed to some of the healing benefits behind it and some people have said that it's been known to help calm the skin and uh, others say that it's just mostly a fragrance so it actually can cause some irritation so just be mindful of that for me i've had no issues with this cleanser whatsoever and it has a light light cocoa scent to it that's really really just refreshing it's like a pleasant thing to kind of wake up and look forward to washing your face and then going you know having a little cocoa scent before you go start your day <laughs> it's a really good cleanser though and um it has citric acid in there as well and yeah so it's really really good the coconut oil that's also in here helps to again lock in moisture and hydrate your skin so this is definitely a cleanser uh that's not too strong a gentle cleanser for the most part that i think everybody can benefit from working this into their routine now the second thing that i want to discuss is the vitamin c serum this vitamin c serum most likely is my favorite thing uh the favorite 
my favorite product by Dorian Renault, Butter Skin, so far. I actually liked it so much. The first order that I ordered, I ran out of it because I kind of overused it a little bit and I had to get me a secondary bottle, but it was worth it. I think I paid maybe $25, something around that realm for another bottle, but it was well worth it. So let me tell you about some of the stuff that I like about this vitamin C serum. Firstly, I'm a nurse. And we, at work, you know, we have to wear a mask for 12 hours a day. And it could be kind of um, hard on our skin. A lot of my coworkers are starting to have, like, a different um, irritation and um, skin kind of, like, sloughing off a little bit when it's dried out because their skin is having some type of reaction to the mask that we're wearing. Um, but anywho, I wear this when I head to work. And it's not, it doesn't leave my face greasy or make my face greasy at the start of my shift. And it helps to, I feel like, lessen the impact of that mask that being pressed up against my, you know, my bare skin and my beard throughout the night. In this product, you have vitamin C and you have vitamin E. Vitamin C and vitamin E are both naturally um, occurring antioxidants. And antioxidants are basically the things that help fight off the free radicals or the damaging molecules or the damaging things that affect your skin on a daily basis. The vitamin E really helps to strengthen your skin's barrier, its protective barrier, and it helps to fight off the signs of aging by increasing the elasticity of your skin. The vitamin C, it actually helps by combating some of the damage or combating the effects of the UV rays from the sun and also helping to fight off and ward off discoloration. Um, and it actually just helps to just uh, brighten your skin by lessening the melanin production of your skin. It actually helps to fight off the the discoloration and it helps leave, in your, it helps leave your skin kind of glowing and just vibrant. Uh, when I would go to work, after I would apply this, I walked into work a couple of days ago and the people were like, um, what's up with you? Like, you look so happy. You must got something going on. New love interest or something off at home. I'm like, um, no, I just smile. And several people asked me this. So it's not just what I'm thinking. It's people noticing how this serum is really positively, you know, impacting my skin. So I really, really love this. I can't, I use this at nighttime. I use it in the morning time. I use it in the evening time sometimes so like I said you don't need that much of it I think I just kind of went uh, overkill on it but the instructions are just to apply four to five drops to freshly cleansed and dried skin massage in a circular motion over your face your neck your chest and any other problem areas and allow it to absorb in for about a minute or two before you actually go to step three which we'll talk about in a second but another thing that I like about this vitamin C serum is that it has glycerin in it as well too, just like the cleanser did. So the glycerin that's in there is gonna to help to again, restore moisture, lock in that moisture that your skin needs. And it also, also has another good ingredient of mine, one of my favorite ingredients, it has green tea extract. That green tea extract helps to wake your skin up. It helps to, um, it helps to fight discoloration. It helps to unclog your pores and slough off that dead skin. It's just a really good ingredient in and of itself as well too. So this serum is just packed with a lot of things that are really beneficial to your skin. So like I said, this is one of my favorite products. I can't get enough of this. If I could buy it in a gallon jug, I would. I'm not even playing. So the last thing that we'll talk about is the facial shea butter now the facial shea butter if you all know anything about shea butters it's a thick thick consistency um and i was kind of hesitant to use this on my face because i tend to have i have combination skin my skin on the outside of my face can be dry sometimes but right in my t-zone it can be a little oily sometimes so i was a little apprehensive to use it but i wanted to give a full authentic review of my experience so i went ahead and took one for the team right i was using this facial shea butter for um the better part of a week and i noticed that it left my skin feeling it's really thick it left my skin feeling a little greasy 
So this is one thing I would only use at night. I wouldn't use it like the vitamin C syrup, um, C serum, I'm sorry, <laughs> to go throughout the day. I would only use this at night when I was going to be sleeping and let it like properly absorb into my skin throughout the night. But I used it and I was doing good with it at first. It was making my skin feel really um, moisturizing and feeling very like plump and healthy. But I noticed that just like I thought, I started to get a breakout, a pimple on the end of my nose, right in my T-zone. And um, it's, you know, was a rather large pimple. It finally went down, but it left a dark mark in my face. And uh, it took a while for me to kind of heal that mark up. So definitely, if you have oily skin, you might want to stay clear of this shea butter for your face. Now, for the rest of your body, I highly recommend it. For my legs, for my arms, for my chest, I love this shea butter. I really do. And it is like virgin organic unrefined shea butter. And the the direction to use was to apply a dime size amount to your fingertips and um, warm the product in your palms first and then gently put over the face. Um, you might want to stay away from a dime size amount. You may want to use half a dime si um, size amount at first if you have oily skin. But if you have dry skin, this is going to be one of, uh, this is probably going to be a dream product for you. I just use it, like it's still a good product, but like I said, I don't put this on my face. I just use it for the rest of my body. And Dorian actually released a Coco Shea um, face, another like face cream now. Let me see what the name is, I'm sorry. It is, the product is the Coco Shea Cream. And I've been looking at reviews of that particular product and I'm going to order that product because um, what I'm seeing from the reviews is that it's really good at moisturizing your skin, but it has a nice kind of whipped, like light, airy uh, feel when you apply it. It's not as thick and greasy as this shea butter. So I think I'm gonna give the Coco Shea um, Cream a, a try but I'm going to um, also give the they have another charcoal detox mask as well that I'm going to give that a try as well too and another whip body butter product as well too so there's been the the products are growing uh, the company is growing and butter skin is advertised everywhere like I'm really really proud of Dorian as a another african-american male who loves skincare I look at him as like an example of what I want to do. In a perfect world, I would have a skincare product as well, um, line as well too. And um, maybe, maybe you never know, I'm just putting it out there in the atmosphere. You gotta say things, you gotta claim them, and you gotta see it for yourself before anybody else sees it for you. So I'm gonna interject some, um, or upload some footage of me actually trying the products on and showing you how it leaves my face looking after everything is applied. So that's it. I don't wanna hold you all too long for this video. Please invest in butter skin and hopefully they'll do another promotion uh, or list these little cute messenger bags well, not messenger bags but travel bags so you all can kind of have one as well so definitely check out the products and i will see you all um in my next video stay tuned for the end of this video with me applying the products thank y'all okay guys so this is the demonstration part of um the video and again here goes the um faux crocodile bag again butter and i am going to use the cleanser and we'll follow the directions like it says it says squeeze a penny size amount into your palm and then massage it over damp skin in a circular motion rinse thoroughly with cold water so let me dampen my skin more than it Okay, skin is damp. Got about, instead of a penny, I'm using maybe a nickel or a quarter size of that. I'm just gonna go all out today. Okay. And we're gonna go over the skin in a circular motion. Again, it has like a little light hint of like the cocoa smell. I've been out um, taking pictures today in the hot sun, so I'm feeling kind of um, 
still hot and dehydrated and a little uh, icky a little bit. So this is really refreshing now. Getting all that sweat and all those um, bad things in the environment off of my skin. Okay. So now, after I've gotten it all wiped down, I'm going to rinse it off. And I'm going to go to step two. All right, guys, so I've rinsed the cleanser and totally dried my face now. Skin's a little damp still, but it's dry. I'm good. Okay, I'm good, okay. So the next step is the vitamin C um, serum again. So we are going to draw it up. And I'm going to put one, two, three, four, five. Probably had a little bit more come out of there, four to five drops. And I'm going to put it on my face. Massage it in, and like I said, this probably is my favorite part of the um the product. So my favorite product, period. My favorite part of the cleansing um, system, the favorite step. Now I'm rubbing the serum in, and again, it's very moisturizing, and it's a really light scent. Nothing overpowering. Getting it good, getting a little skin even between my beard and everything as well too. Getting the crevices of the lips. And I think everything is in. And once this is on, you have to wait and let it dry for a minute or two before you apply step three, which is the shea butter. All right, while I was actually letting the vitamin C serum dry, me and my niece were looking and seeing that my skin looks good now. Feeling very plump and feel like I've just been awakened a little bit from being so tired throughout this long, this very long hot day. But this is step three. And like I said in the footage before this, I, didn't, I don't really like to put this on my face, but just for you all, I will. I'm gonna take a small amount of it, a small amount, We'll do about, yeah, I think they said a piece. No, a, what was it again? How much did they want you to put on there? A uh, dime size amount. So yes, this is correct. Taking the dime size amount and put it in your palm and kind of let it kind of warm up to your body, to your body temperature. And I'm kind of rubbing in to help it warm up a little bit. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it more so on the outside of my face instead of in my T-zone. So more so on the outside. And I'll take a little bit into the T-zone too, but put that in and massage it. And actually when you do let it kind of warm up to your body, with your body, um, with your skin contact when it warms up, it does kind of go on a little bit smoother and the, um, the thickness of it is decreased, but like I said, it still feels heavy when you put it on your face. So I put the last bit more so, like I said, on my hands and on my arms. Get those elbows looking bright and <laughs> greased up nicely, glimmering. Okay, and we'll rub the rest in. I'm trying to keep most of it out of the middle of my face. But some of it still is going to get in, so I'm trying to put the bulk of the product on the outside. <laughs> and there you have it. That is the end result. Now, if you want to, you can still just grab a towel and kind of dab a little bit more of the excess out of the way. Making sure I don't have any, like, kind of clumped up in my beard. And... There you go, it's the finished product. Skin's feeling healthy, feeling plumped, and not feeling too 
too um greasy but like i said i can't wait to try the coco shea um face cream instead of this the, the the original shea butter so that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the product application like comment and subscribe and i will see you on the next video thank you